What's up everybody, Jay here and welcome back to the Planted Tank and today I just want to talk a little bit about nitrates in the Planted Tank side of the hobby because I feel like it's a little bit misunderstood and uh, anyways I'm also going to be giving you guys an update on my Waterbox Clear 16 because I've changed it up quite a bit and uh, hopefully you guys like it. Anyways, let's go check it out. So before I get into the topic of today's video and the update on this tank, I do want to give a quick shout out to Waterbox Aquariums for sending me this tank. And uh, I've been enjoying it every single day since the day it showed up in the mail. So if you guys are in the market for a rimless aquarium, go ahead and check the link in the description. And uh, anyways, so I ripped out the Didiplus Deandra in the right hand side and left hand side. And the main reason for that was because, well, one, I just didn't know where to put these Amazon Sword Compactas and I was really getting sick of trimming all these stem plants. Now usually when I start growing a bunch of stem plants, I usually get sick of it after a while. So uh, these plants that I just put in there are, are really trimmed down and they're going to get super bushy and dense back there. So I'm really excited to see what this tank is going to look like once all these plants get nice and nice and bushy. And uh, the Crypt Sri Lanka in the front here is also going to get nice and bushy. And then uh, I'm going to be slowly filling up this foreground section with uh, S Repens. As you can see, my Busa Philandra here is kind of melting back a little bit from going from really low light all the way up to uh, pretty high light compared to what it was in. So all the Anubias is still doing really good. I'm still trying to eradicate the snail issue in this tank. There's still a few in there, but uh, I really gotta keep my tabs on them because if I don't, they're just gonna eat a bunch of holes in my plants. So I might have to go out and get some kind of loach or something to, to deal with those guys. So um, that's about all I got for the update on this tank. The Java Fern Needle Leaf is doing really good. I did decide to keep the Penny War and the uh, Ludwigia Natan Super Red just because I need some some fast growers in there to help keep the algae at bay which I don't have any algae right now but uh, you never know it can pop up at any time if you don't keep track of your water parameters which leads me to the topic of today's video now a lot of times I'll get a comment in the comment section somebody will have a question saying hey my plants aren't growing very well and then uh, usually my first uh, question is what's your water parameters have you tested recently and every single time it never fails <laughs> they always say that they have zero zero and zero so zero ammonia zero nitrite and zero nitrate now the ammonia and nitrite should probably be at zero at all times uh, unless you had just set your tank up or something but um, your nitrates a lot of people in other sides of the aquarium hobby will say to keep your nitrates at zero. Now in the plant a tank side of the hobby, that's a really bad thing because that, that basically starves your plants of nutrients. So if you don't have some form of nitrates in your tank, your plants are suffering and don't have anything to feed off of. So especially for your uh, water column feeders, but pretty much any plant that has roots is going to feed more off the substrate than it will the water column, but uh, nitrates is all around the tank. So uh, you gotta keep your nitrates around 30 parts per million. Anything above that and you're riding that fine line of getting a bunch of nuisance algae that's just gonna make you upset and wanna leave the hobby. And anything below that, you're gonna notice that your plant growth is definitely gonna slow down or your plants just might not even grow at all. So um, nitrates are extremely important. I mean, that's the entire point of dosing because it brings your, uh, your nitrate level up. And that's the whole point of doing your 50% water change every week because it brings those levels back down so that way they don't get out of whack and then you end up with a bunch of algae. So. Hopefully this makes a little bit of sense for you guys. If you if you guys are struggling with a planted tank right now and your plants are not growing very well, if your nitrates are at zero when you test, uh, wait a little while before you do a water change or do, uh, start dosing a all-in-one liquid fertilizer. That will help tremendously, especially if you're not using aqua soil. Uh, if you're not using aqua soil or dirt, um, you definitely need to be dosing a, a good liquid fertilizer like Easy Green or Neeloc G Thrive 
or Tropica or ADA or something, your plants got to have some kind of nutrients on a daily basis. And uh, you, you can find a good balance of not dosing at all and just uh, relying on like fish food and stuff. And then uh, eventually you might get a, uh, some sort of deficiency, deficiency or something and, and then you'll have to start dosing. But uh, aqua soil itself lasts a good while and same with dirt. So um, both of those will help keep your nitrates up. Aqua soil won't last as long as dirt when it comes to keeping your nitrate level up. Uh, because it's not just completely soaked in nutrients like dirt is, but um, they're both great. Uh, they both have worked for me except dirt. Um, I haven't used dirt a whole lot. I've used it a few times and it does work, but I, I seem to have a lot more success with aqua soil. Uh, I will be using dirt in an upcoming aquascape, so keep your eye out for that. And uh, that's pretty much all I got for today's video. So hopefully you guys learned something and hopefully this helps you guys out in your uh, plant to tank journeys. And uh, anyways, if you guys are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you never miss an upload. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And as always, keep it planted.